Okay, so changing the text is very simple. So as we scroll down, uh, you're going to see that the structure I tried to build as uh, simplified as possible. Uh, to start, you're going to see that the Element 3D plugin is on a red layer, and beneath that layer is the text being affected by that plugin. You can, of course, go to your uh, plugin uh, effects control, and you can see that in the custom layers you're going to see that same text being affected. Now, uh, to start, we'll go to the quality switcher and turn the draft mode on. That way we can start to work a little bit uh, easier. You go into your Element 3D control, and we switch the plugin off. We go into our text control, and we turn our text on. And if you wish, you can also turn on your guide, la guide layers. So I can simply just scroll down and start with this element 3D one la uh, batch layer here. And we have unlearn. And all you simply got to do is just change your text. Now what I'm going to do is just turn the text control uh, text layers back off. Uh, the guy layers back off for a second. I'm going to switch the uh, element 3D control element 3d back on okay so one thing i want to point out here we changed our text and the amount of lettering being used versus the lettering in the demo is is very similar but what happens if we were to uh go and let's say make a longer title in this case i'm just going to go down to uh the title relearn and we can see it right here and uh let me just pop in something. Sally has eyes. Okay, so as you can see, as more letters are being used, it's still going to fit everything within the context of our composition space. So you do have a lot of flexibility in terms of the amount of letters you use. You can see that it's going to resize itself properly. Using the text control is one way to change your text. The other way is, is to keep the text mode off, keep the draft mode on, and kind of go down and see things as they are uh, in the frame. In this case, as we move up, we can see that we have the lies and war and I'm going to go up to my next batch and I'm going to see uh, the titles being used here. So here we are, Wars and Lies. And we can just simply change it right here. Go down to our next batch, you know, and, and this could be a simple way that you do it uh, as opposed to going to your text control and switching it on or your guide layer switching that on. Again, I'm just giving you options. Uh, each user is different. Everybody has different experiences with After Effects and Element 3D, so I just try to build it in a more universal way. We can see here as the... Uh, you know, the next camera hits in, we just scroll down and slave, and boom, we can change that. So if we go back to our uh, element quality switch and we turn this on, everything looks 